This is how you play top lane support. We've got one game on Hooper, one game on Mr. Mime, and this is how you play when you're behind, when you're ahead, how to steamroll, how to reflect on your decision. You're gonna see everything. And if you wanna see more of these games live, join me in stream, use exclamation mark join if you wanna play some games together while we're streaming. Yeah. Um, we're in a very bad position. Oh, great follow up with the Unite move. A huge double kill there. Massive, massive, massive double kill from the Gardevoir. And now we're going to get a break potentially here. No, we've kept on 21, which is mathematically sound. Yeah, okay. So we've got passive there with the levels. He's used his Unite move on the farm. He's used the Unite move on the piece of farm. That's really bad for our team. They're not going to come in here, are they? Oh, I'm going to actually follow up there. We're going to get two big kills and we're going to get the mouse grider. We're going to shove them all. Oh my goodness. That's a huge, huge triple. He could go on to the top lane with an assault best score shield and um, float stone. Okay. Well, this might be the great test of like whether or not you can actually support in solo queue because um, th this is currently what I'm supporting at the moment. But there's a couple little intricacies when we use Hooper, right? Hooper is really, really good at um, getting sick. Uh, secures and um, stopping the enemies from stacking and he also gets that magician um, ability as well which is really nice you can steal a berry from an enemy um, but the thing is is that you've got to wait like 30 seconds right so I can't use it for another nine seconds okay so epic person doesn't want to contest uh, any of this farm here we might be able to get it from a range so we got it from a range there which is really really nice um, Pikachu's okay uh, okay Pikachu's got that potion that's right he's so he's fairly tanky um, with lost sight on the Sableye yeah, so I'm gonna make sure that I'm helping my uh, jungler out here with um, with the Sableye invade, because that could be um, really annoying. But yeah, we've gotten a hold of him there. We, we got the kill, that's really, really good. So now we'll rotate back top in a 2v1 situation, and our jungler has gotten the uh, advantage there um, from getting a little bit of experience there. So uh, that's, yeah, that's really great. We'll pop a berry here just while they should be available. Um, that way our team's got a berry and their team doesn't. So Hooper's really, really good at this. But one thing there that I probably didn't um, put much explanation on is um, yeah, the fact that as soon as you lose sight of, of one of their laners, you should you should try and be aware of where, of where they might be. Um, this is honestly looking like an invade angle here. So I'm gonna try and peel off for an immediate invade. And I'm just gonna ping, hopefully this guy just gets the message that we should be playing passively. Now, the reason I'm going for an invade angle here is because look how weak he is, right? I'm going to be able to get the resets. Actually, I'm not going to go for that reset. I, I'll actually try and kill him here. I got the kill, um, which is great. But yeah, they've got a Gyarados. So, uh, okay, so they've got a couple of members of their team in our uh, in their central. So I'm just going to play it safe, um, pop back out there. And oh, okay, there's quite a number of them there. I probably shouldn't have gone back through there. I didn't realize three would be there. So that was probably a little risky going back, um, but we're trying to capitalize the game. Pikachu's got no one in the top lane. So he's got some, yeah, he probably should be looking to take their farm and, and score. Um, okay, now he's gonna be in trouble because I'd imagine he's getting a little bored. He might overcommit. And now, yeah, he might get caught out by the Gyarados there. Um, we'll give you a, a reset. Okay, so now we're in a quite a bit of quite a bit of a tricky situation here, um, but we need to make sure that we're using our portals as best as we can um, to get some resets for our team. So we get the reset there, which is very very nice, and we've got Phantom Pulse. So Phantom Pulse is another great skill. I want to try and um, disposition their Venusaur a little bit with the Phantom Pulse if I can. Okay, that's a good initial engage. We'll try and get some follow up here. Uh, yep, very good, very good. We've shoved him out of the way of the berry, but haven't quite got him there. That's that's uh, unfortunate, unfortunate. Probably shouldn't have played an aggressive portal there. Okay, probably our team just goes to rip. I hope he doesn't think I pinged him there. Um, and I'm going to float close to this goal zone just because I want... Um, press L to fix the camera and taking portals. So you can, ah, yeah, okay, that's a, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good tip, actually. Thanks, Green6. Okay, uh, quite a number of their team is pushing here. We'll put down the portal. Um, yep, we're going to have to flash out of this direction, flash back in, um, but our team didn't want to take any portals there. So, okay, that's all right. Their team's going to get some advantage in top lane, but that, yeah, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. That Pikachu might get caught here. 
Um, how much have they scored? I'm going to try and disposition a couple of them off the pad there. Um, uh, we need to put a portal back just in case our team needs to get a reset. Okay, there's one kill. Oh, we didn't quite get the kill. That's unfortunate. It just A pressing from a little bit of a distance here. And um, yeah, their team is definitely hard collapsing top. Um, we're not quite getting a lot of value there that we need. And the Gyarados has died back on us. So, all right. A little bit tough. Um, but yeah, this is generally the time where our team would get a bit of catch up experience. That's exactly what's happened because the enemy have um, have overcommitted and stayed there. So if the enemy had have just scored and quickly run away, we're in a very, very bad spot. But our team has, um, yeah, our team's done really well. So Pikachu, our Pikachu. Okay, I need to be with the team to make sure I'm supporting. So this, this farm here is probably silly. I shouldn't be looking to press that. Um, we still have a Haunter, which is not great. Um, hopefully they're going to take a portal here, which would be great. And then we'll try and get out of that. Um, okay, this is definitely not a great position for our team. We'll try and put a portal back around here. And uh, okay, I'm going to get caught there by the... Who was that? Mouse Garada. A lot of mobility. Okay. So this is a very, very tricky game. We've got a Pikachu OO. We've got a Haunter OO. And both of them are quite underleveled and they're um, main damage dealers. So I'm looking at... And our Blastoise is um, the uh, our uh, Lucario from the other game. So this could be tricky. I think I've got to stick with the Mimikyu as much as I can. Um, to try and get out of that. Okay, I got caught by Telekinesis. So no, very bad position for our team here. Um... All right, I'm I'm very very concerned as to how this game is going to play out from here. Um, I think we need to get some value. Uh, if he, if Mimikyu can hold there and keep them stalled, we could be in a really good spot. I'll just try and take this back. Um, I'm definitely not going back through that portal. Okay, our Pichu went back through that portal. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to, to unite. This is... Like, I had my chance early. Um, okay, team's getting a lot of great score there. And we're just going to throw down a portal so they can get away if they need. Portal and bush. Hopefully team takes it. Very, very good. Okay, Pichu does know how the portals work. Maybe he's just playing a Nuzlocke or something. All right, this is a very, very tricky position here. Um, their team's throwing a lot of resources there. Um, is there anyone on our team who we can get with a portal? Or oh, I should have been a little bit more aware of our Blastoise actually could have saved him. Oh, well. Inder made a video. Yeah, Inder is like the actual lord of um, using this Pokemon. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Hang on. I need to practice that. I need to practice that. Hold L before I go through the portal. Okay, we've got a objective coming up pretty shortly here. Uh, the main objective. Uh, we got that kill there. Um, unfortunately, Gengar's use his ult. So it could be a little bit tricky. All right, let's see how we go here. We got 10 seconds to Ray. How's a Mimikyu looking? Team doesn't have ults. We've only got Blastoise and myself with an ult. Hopefully they're close. Um, Gengar's level 11. Pikachu's hinting at level 12 Sableye has a vision on me watch out watch out watch out um i need to put oh 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 he's gone in he's gone in he's gone in okay i need to back out there um i couldn't get back through with the phantom force i got stunned by the Sableye. that's really unfortunate their team's overcommitted though in our tier two bottom lane um but this is probably not looking too great for us well, okay they picked up the gyarados the team's not ripping though, and we do have the Hoopy Unite to get back through. Yeah, that was tricky. I couldn't engage, and I tried to get out there, but I got caught by that Gyarados jumping over the wall. Gyarados are fairly potent. Oh, okay. We might get a bit caught again here. Um, we want to rip our Unite move as soon as we can drop a portal. Drop a portal. Okay, we're, we're gonna get back healthy again. And now I've got to rip this Unite move. Now I've got to rip it. Now I've got to rip it. Well, it's in a very, very tough spot for our team. Um, we're just doing as much damage as we can. We've got to stay out of the line of sight of the Solar Beam. We've got the Solar... Okay, there's three big KOs. Three big KOs. Are we going to be able to clean up here? Um, can we get this last stun? 
off, but we're not going to be able to. I will get that portal down just so our team might be able to get out. Yes, we're saving our team a little bit there. Um, but we do have to rip. We do have to rip. We do have to rip. Damn, this has come down to the wire here, down to the wire. I'm going to try and CC, 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 CC as much as we can. I'm going with this, shove them away. Oh gosh, this could be tough. This could, this is just coming down to a B press. Did I get it with a B press? No, the blast. Oh, he's got it. Very good. Okay. Um, we still need a score though. We still need a score. Oh, are we going to get it? No, we didn't get our 32. We didn't get 32, but we allowed the blast to get the 50 top. I think we still win though. This might be really, uh, this might be really close. I'm always just mindful because sometimes I want to go back through the portal and then reposition with the Phantom Force. Okay, so we just won that game. Um, dare I say that was probably pretty fortunate. I got caught out a couple of times, but that was really, really tough trying to play support that game. Like, really, really tough. Um, the, the early game was very sloppy. I made a couple mistakes. Like, I, I went in here and I went back through that portal and I got... Um, I got punished for that, so that wasn't very great for our team, considering how well our Gengar did in that bottom lane to get a 3 KO and put our team in a, in a very good spot. We're laning with a Mew, that's really good. And I'm the third highest on ELO. Um, okay, do I think Portals is good this game? I, I don't, just because we've got three, um, we've got three attackers. So what I think I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use a supporter. Who, like healing's probably not going to help our team that much this game. In fact, I think locking the enemies into place is going to be very, very tricky for our team to deal with. Um, so I am going to go Mr. Mime in the top lane. Um, only because I, I just think with the amount of range that our team has, all we have to do is... Um, yeah, all, like all we have to do is just provide enough front line and stick the enemies into place and then we should assuming that our team can play well um we're, we're very concerned about one and two though they're going to be able to dive and, and do a lot of work so when i see those guys late game i'm saving my unite move for these guys there i'm not even going to try and dive him um that's just our team's going to have to out poke him so we'll see how we go are we going to use a supporter that focuses on buff and debuff Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. We don't want two mages in the top lane. What the hell? And why has this guy tapped this and left it? And now he's gone back, so... Uh, Alright, whatever. Whatever. So, this is where... <laughs> playing support can get a little bit frustrating from time to time. Um, yeah, Mr. Mom's fake out secure is, like, absolutely incredible. Yep, so we're now we're forcing him. With, he's, yeah, so we're force flash out of him there. Um, which is great. Their team's taking the farm, so now our team, yeah, we need Nick Kyrgios to um, start taking the farm here. Clap that. The experience goes into our teammate, which is fine. Yep, great. And now just providing vision so their team doesn't take that. Okay, good. So we're going Confusion Barrier. That's that's the build that we're going for is Confusion Barrier. Um, by the way their team's positioned in bottom lane, I'm anticipating their jungle is going to be in the top lane. So we're going to try and yeah, put some secure on the bees here. We got pretty much all that, which is really, really good for our team. Okay, this is a potential invade angle. So I'm just going to ping for our team to defend there. Um, and I'm just looking to steamroll from here. Right, it's actually it's Masquerada. I'm probably not going to muck around too much. Considering it is Masquerada, because I can get hurt really badly. I'm trying to just bring this in here. Yes, I'm just stalling him at this point, just so he doesn't come into... Oh, I don't know why that lags so much. Okay, the player up is obnoxious there. Um, we are running, but we're definitely dead. Yeah, we're definitely dead. Okay, maybe the invade was a very, very bad call there. Yeah, the invade was definitely a bad call. My, the my, like, my thinking is I'm trying to slow down the enemy jungler so our team can get all the mid um yeah i definitely got caught out there definitely overcommitted okay our team's doing very very well in the bottom lane there's three top so i'm my goal here is just don't die like just try and stall them as much as i can here and just do not die i don't have my eject so i'm gonna have to be very careful bring him back as much as i possibly can i oh, will trap them there if we can keep him there that's huge and yes we've got a big kill there with the confusion so it's very very good follow-up and our team's there, and now we're going to be able to do some good things. See, so if we die there, um, we're in a very bad position. 
Oh, great follow-up with the Unite move. Be a huge double kill there. Massive, massive double kill from the Gardevoir. And now we're going to get a break potentially here. No, we've kept on 21, which is mathematically sound. So I'm now going to base and head to the bottom lane. I'm going to base and head to bottom lane. So our team's taking care of top lane very, very well. Um, yeah, we probably should have been warding bottom. Um, with our Mew coming down, just so we can maximize the value we get here. And um, yeah, their team might be in a lot of trouble. Okay, he's Flash because he knows that this could be trouble. This could be trouble. Great slow there. And yeah, down he goes. Um, and we want to start hitting this if we can, guys. Oop. I hope Jake doesn't think I was pinging him. Okay, so our team's done well in top lane. I, I believe they've got a 30 over cap there. There's a little farm in the middle of the map. I'm just going to ping that they should definitely be hitting that farm there. Yep, so there's a nice little wall. They're really not going to be able to get through this much at all. Okay, there's a KO. Now, if he continues to follow up, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Yep, because I just want to make sure I'm stunning him to death with my Unite move. Um, and that's, yeah, that's really, really tough for their team. And we're going to get some kills there. We're going to follow up. Their team doesn't have jump pad. And, um, oh, hang on. You need to go down as well. Yep, so that's a lot of damage on him. We're going to turn around and get some score there. 35 and 14. That's that's really, really great for our team. Putting a barrier down just so the Masquerada doesn't come in there. Oh, it's a huge unite move from the Gardevoir. Again, the Gardevoir getting so much value. This game is just turning out to be actually quite a bit of fun here. Putting some walls so our, their team gets away, uh, the, our team's able to get away, and I'm going to base just because we don't have the healing. Okay, really, 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 really solid play. Um, our team's playing phenomenally. I feel like mine was definitely the right pick here, and I'm just going to go down to the bottom lane here to hold this goal zone because I'm going to anticipate their team may try and send someone as an offlaner. Um, the only thing is, though, we, we probably shouldn't be that deep Gardevoir because he's... Yeah, if he dies here, it's really bad. He's going to die. That's really, really bad for our team. Oh, unfortunate. That's really, really bad for our team. What emblems and items? Um, so I've got... Uh, Focus Band, Resonant Garden, EXP Share as items and emblems. I am just... I don't even know, to be honest. I think it's like... Yep, shove them into a wall. Great kill. Um, put a wall down so they can't get away. Uh, use our Unite move here and dive onto their melee Pokemon. Shove him into a wall if we can. Put another wall down. Trap him in there. Making life very, very tricky for him. Um, oh, no, I'm just not able to get the wall there. Flash out. Shove back. No, but our team is... um. Doing what they can there. Another big pickup from Snorlax on a Masquerada. Yeah, so like we said, we're very, very scared of the Mimikyu. The Mimikyu is going to be the difference maker here. Oh, that's good, Cheetah. Uh, I'm glad you learned. A, uh, I'm glad you've learned a thing or two. Oh no, he's got a Penta. For goodness sake, yeah, we were definitely, definitely petrified of him. Um, I'm gonna base and go bottom just because there's an objective bottom. And a tier one down in the in the bottom goal. And they're about to see that three of our members are in the top lane. So I'm just going to ward this tower, make sure they don't score 50. Yep. Put my uh, walls down as much as we can here. Uh, try and yep, stop the 50 scores from happening. And um, I'm probably going to get killed here. Ooh, just getting away. Unfortunately, our melee Pokemon, we need those guys to defend the goal zone. So we're going to have to give up our tier one. I have faith late game. So we've still got a huge lead because we've been overcapping really, really well. Um, yeah, we're giving up that objective, which is like, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, trying to put a wall down so our team can get away. Yeah, just putting wall, putting a wall down, putting a wall down just so they get stunned and our team can escape there. And providing vision at the same time. Okay. What do we do at this point? Um, if we could hit level 12 with some passive experience, that probably would have been smart to stand near the buffs. And I need a front line for these guys. I really don't like that our team is, um, I mean, I shouldn't say our team. It's pretty much just Espeon there. 
Yeah, okay, so we've got Asset there with the levels. He's used to your Night Move on the farm. He's used to your Night Move on the piece of farm. That's really bad for our team. Okay, where's the Mimikyu? We, uh, we need to get hold of the Mimikyu. They're not going to come in here, are they? Oh, I'm going to actually follow up there. We're going to get two big kills, and we're going to get the Mouse Grider. We're going to shove them all. Oh, my goodness. That's a huge, huge triple. Great follow-up from our team. Um, now I'm trying to run as quickly as I can. There's four kills. Where's the? Uh, where's he going to? Uh, we're going to shove him into wall there. He's stunned. CC, that's a team wipe. What a fantastic game. What an absolutely fantastic game there from our team. You can see the value of following up um, after our team is engaged. We just need to rip, 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 rip this right down. Put something here to block that. Oh, we almost got that with an arrow. That could have been very scary. Okay. Great. Um, yeah. Great play from our team there. Phenomenal play from our team. We're going to get the 100 score in, uh, which is, you know, look, that's cool. We'll get that score in there. Um, I'll just stun you because you're annoying and put another wall there because you're annoying. So we're five from five here. Um, oh, five from five or six from six. We're yeah. Look, this is very successful so far. Very very successful. Yeah. So can't say um played very very well. Um, thank you for playing on the tank by the way as well, Jane. Can't say um Kyrie. I think that's a that's an impersonator of Nick Kyrgios. But yeah, team did really really well that game. That was fantastic play from like there was so many good unite moves. The the Mew was doing so much crazy uh. So much crazy work. The Unite move timing, I just had to make a very, very quick decision to go in there. I saw the Guard of Eye Unite, I saw them choked up, and we just had to go in there and do as much damage as, as we could, right? Because, like, the Guard of Eye getting a big Unite move off in this area here, while I'm already in a particular position, um, that's amazing. That's really, really amazing for me, because I can follow up, and then I can follow up here. And there's so many walls as well. Like I can bash into this wall with confusion, this wall with confusion, this wall with confusion. We can follow up. We can put a barrier down here and smash them with confusion. So there's just so many different plays that we can make. Um, yeah, really, really fun. Really, really good.